Okay, the final basic shape I want to show you how to create is like a little house. Okay, so to do this we're going to use the rectangle tool, polygon tool, push, pull, move and line. Okay, so I'm going to start with my rectangle tool and draw a basic rectangle for the base of my house and then I'm going to use the push pull tool to pull it up. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to create a triangle on top. There are two ways to do this. The first way is by using the line tool, so L. I can draw from my midpoint a line straight in the air. I know it's straight and vertical because it lines up with the blue axis. And then I can draw a line down and then start at the top and draw a line down. I can then delete the line and then push through. Okay. And there I have my house. Okay. You can see I've pushed a bit too far on this side so I can come back in and use my push pull tool like that. Okay. So that is one way that you can create your little house. The second way that you could do it, we'll start with the rectangle tool again. This time though, I'm going to go a thousand comma a thousand, so it's actually a square, and I'm going to pull it up a thousand. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my polygon tool, which is this tool over here in your large tool set. All right. And at the moment, at the top in my measurements tab, it's telling me it has six sides. What I'm going to do is hold my option key on my keyboard and the minus button. And you can see that number go down to three, which means it's creating a triangle. Okay. What I'm going to do is click and drag out. Okay. And you can see that I am creating a triangle. Right? I can input the measurements of the triangle if I want to. Right? We can see that that is far too big. Or I could draw my triangle straight on to my shape as well. Okay, so I've got my triangle here. What I want to do is I want to make it a group. So I'm going to click and drag over it all, edit, make group. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. So Q on my keyboard, green, I think I want red, maybe. Okay, we're going to give it a go. I can rotate it. Alrighty, and what I can do is I can move it and pop it straight onto my rectangular prism or square prism. Now it's definitely the wrong size. So the first thing I want to do is I want to scale it. So I hit S on my keyboard. Okay, you can see that I can scale it or make it smaller, more house-like, which is what I want. Now I need to rotate it again just to make sure that it is to make it in line. You can see there that it is in line. Now what I need to do is I need to push pull this rectangle, this triangle. So in order to get inside the group I double click on the group and you can see that everything else has grayed out. And I'm going to push it along right, to get out of the rectangle or the group of the triangle, sorry, double click in the gray space. You guys can see I have my rectangular, or oh, sorry, my little house made out of a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. If I hit B, I can now add some color to it. Okay, if it's a group, it colors all together. Okay, so there are different functions that you guys can create here. Alrighty, that is how you can create your little house.